Experimental research is a method where researchers manipulate one or more variables to observe the effect on other variables while controlling external factors. The goal is to establish cause and effect relationships by testing a hypothesis in a controlled environment. Researchers can systematically change the independent variable and observe how it influences the dependent variable. By controlling the environment and carefully manipulating variables, experimental research offers a precise way to test hypotheses. This method is especially useful in fields like psychology, medicine, and the natural sciences, where it's important to understand how different factors interact. Now let's look at some examples of experimental research. Imagine a researcher testing whether a new study technique improves students' test scores. The researcher could divide students into two groups. One group uses the new technique, while the other uses traditional study methods. After a set period, both groups take the same test, and the researcher compares the scores to see if the new method made a significant difference. Another example could involve testing the effect of different types of fertilizer on plant growth. The researcher could plant identical seeds in similar soil, but use a different fertilizer for each group of plants. By measuring the height and health of the plants over time, the researcher can determine which fertilizer promotes the best growth. In both cases, experimental research is ideal because it isolates and manipulates variables in a controlled environment, allowing the researcher to observe direct cause and effect relationships. Now let's look at some strengths of experimental research. One strength is that it provides strong evidence for causality. Because experimental research involves direct manipulation of variables, it allows researchers to identify cause and effect relationships with a high degree of confidence. This makes it one of the most reliable methods for testing hypotheses about how one factor affects another. Another strength is its control over variables. In experimental research, researchers can carefully control the conditions under which the study takes place, reducing the influence of external factors. This high level of control makes it easier to isolate the effects of the independent variable leading to more accurate and reliable results. However, experimental research is not without its criticisms. One criticism is that it can lack ecological validity. Since experiments often take place in controlled, artificial settings, the results might not always apply to real-world situations. The behaviour observed in a lab, for example, might be different from how people act in everyday life. Another criticism is that it can be resource-intensive. Conducting a well-designed experiment can be time-consuming, expensive and require careful planning. Researchers must often invest significant resources in equipment, participants and data collection, which can make this method less accessible for certain studies. Experimental research is often contrasted with descriptive research to learn about the strengths and weaknesses of descriptive research. Watch this video next.